it is a great time, a great opportunity that we get meeting again after a long time. So we have been given the opportunity by the nature to open ourselves. Must have visited many places, many lectures to understand what is the life. As you know, you are the life, life of the time. You are the best creature on this planet. You know, who has made this world more beautiful. And it has brought to the so high tech that you can imagine how was the life of ancestors. How was our life before 40 years, 30 years, 60 years, 70 years? And how much different has come nowadays? How fast we are, how speedy we are. But you can imagine that it is your mind only. You are using your mind. So it has come as a science. It is going to discover, it is going to invent how far it will go till the matter will not disappear. It will go on breaking. <coughs> it will go and find out the deepest of the matters. Because mind is a movement. If mind is moving, there is no peace. Mind cannot remain without mind. And you have become mind. <coughs> We think mind is a world, mind is everything, mind is your success. But mind is not you. You have to find out what is beyond the mind. On the spiritual path, you need a mind to have a knowledge. But to be spiritual, you don't need a mind. Because mind is not a medication. Mind not let you allow you to meditate. Mind is activities, mind is creations, mind is the science, mind is the tattva, mind is the methods. How many methods have been created by minds? How many techniques have been given by our masters? We believe in India that Shiva is the greatest master of the universe. <coughs> the Shiva has no curiosities, but Devi has a curiosities. So Devi is go on asking the question to the Shiva. Shiva is not going to explain. You go on giving the techniques. Same thing to us. Everybody will not come to explain it. There is no admiration for the spiritual enlightenment. Because there is no language in which you can bring the realization and enlightenment. Because truth is not a spoken. It can be experienced. And everything is fundamentally the truth. We are the truth. You can change the life. You can prove the life. You go on speaking lie, lie, lie to prove yourself that what you have made was a mistake to lie to somebody, to someone. And to prove that so far you are go on speaking, go on speaking, go on creating, go on creating, go on creating. You still you cannot prove it because within your mind there is a guiltiness. But truth, if you want to experience, because you are the truth, to enlighten yourself, to realize yourself. You have to be yourself. 
if you try to fall in love with somebody, someone, then slavery comes, dependent will come. If you like something, you are attracted to something, then you are not left alone, you are no more free. So you have to be very careful. To live in this world, you need a help. To free from this world, you have to be yourself. There are many kinds of techniques. There are many kinds of books to know, to have a knowledge about this. But you have to come back to yourself. You have to have a lot in this world. This city, this action, this friend, to this relationship. To make better life, to develop your life, to explore your life. And you are never satisfied. <coughs> because desire never disappears. One desire finish, then next desire, second desire, third desire, go on it. Inventing the desires to make your life luxury and comfortable. Science has done so many great things. Now, what you are holding in your hand, what you are holding in your mind, are you there, are you not there? You can understand yourself because you are intellectual now. But intelligentsia is fine now, not for the just living in this world. In the spiritual world, intelligence is known to experience yourself. If you are in your mind, then it will never give a chance to come back to yourself. Because mind is evolved and evolved is a mind. So never think that you can go behind the mind. There is silence, it has no activity. Silence is the silence. How to create a silence? You can have many kinds of techniques. To become no mind, you can have many types type of techniques to concentrate the mind to contemplate the mind, to meditate with the mind. Hundreds, hundreds of techniques are there. Because your mind is mechanism. Your life is mechanism. Your body is mechanism. It is systematic organized. The way it is organized may to the science feel that it is the greatest finding out the power of the mind. But so far, so far nobody has come to know that, no any philosopher, no any scientific, no any spiritual person. If you are not realized, if you are not enlightened the matters, the object one by one, to go behind, experience the object and go behind that object. So your body is the elements. The nervous system is the elements. They are there, they are active because you are as a consciousness supporting. If you are not a consciousness, then source is not there. The gravitations of your source the manifestation by your source is there. <coughs> so how to be in a law? How to create a peace? How to create a silence? To come back to yourself. All the techniques are depend on the mind. All the techniques are for the mind, through the body, through the nervous system, through the senses. You can rise, you can awaken your senses, you can develop, your image can be changed, your visualization can be changed. 
into the intuition, into the truth. But you cannot become what you are. You never think that you are important. Just now your mother says that you are a slave of your mind. But today you are not a slave of mind because your mind is everything. You can see this world so beautiful, so great, so wonderful because of the wonders are there in the world. The wonders are there in your body. The wonders are, are there in your mind. We can find out. You can transfer the energy. You can transcend from the energy. You can change the mind and you can transfer the mind. You can transcend from the mind. Through the technique, but if you want to be silenced, it's not possible. You have tried how to live in the silence. That's why we have been asked to go into the meditation deeper, deeper into yourself. In the silence, there is no activities. In the silence, what is going to happen, that is a natural, that is a truth. If you activate the energy, activate the senses, activate the nervous system, activate the mind, this, this will create you something to feel in pleasure, happiness. So you are lost in that pleasure, in your happiness. In contact with many things in this world, in touch with many things in the world, you are looking only for the pleasure and happiness. Many greatest masters, they are also lost when they are meditating. They feel that this pleasure is the home of the God. So when they go in the ocean of pleasures, then they are lost. They feel that it's the end of the life. The purpose of life is to be in pleasures. And you try to walk on the life path of the life. You try to open the door of heaven within yourself. All to get the pleasures. The chemistry, the biology, the organic systems are happening naturally inside you. If you breathe, we have been teaching. We went in the Himalaya. We, I have seen, and Jomata has seen many masters in the Himalaya. Luckily, we went deep side of the Himalaya. You will surprise how much deep we have gone in the Himalaya of Nepal and India, in Tibet, you cannot imagine. Some places you cannot reach, then within these two, three years to find out the sector of those places, we hire the helicopters. You go there and ask the helicopter to drop us and go away. We'll make, make you to understand when you want to come, you will be so much of place waiting for you. It is a place of silence. There are so beautiful lakes and rivers and waterfalls. If you sit at the hill of the mountain, you sit on the bank of the lakes, you sit on the bank of the rivers, you lose yourself. Not to lose yourself, you will find out yourself, you lose the mind, you lose the imagination, you lose the Visualize them. You cannot visualize, you cannot concentrate, you cannot imagine. 